Georges Carpentier climbed through the ropes once again to meet Ted Kid Lewis, his old-time opponent. When they met for business, Georges knocked out Lewis in the first round, surprising him after a break. Tonight he comes to give a send-off to the Kid's testimonial show, where Scottish champion Jim Kenny meets Jean Machtelink, champion of Belgium over eight rounds, on the opening night of the Brakeman and Ezra season at the Empress Hall. It's Kenny's first fight in London. You can spot him by the monogram on his pants. And he's up against a clever two-handed fighter. The Belgian gets Kenny on the ropes and with a Scott all tangled up, scores heavily before the ref steps into the rescue. It's a fast and furious bout, with both boys going all out. If they keep this up, they'll both know they've been in a fight. The Belgian seems to be getting the measure of Kenny, or maybe the Scots tiring. It's the last round and there can't be much in it either way. There goes the gong for the end of the fight. Kenny's the winner, but the ref's decision gets a mixed reception. Wonder what Carpentier thinks. Anyway, it was a good fast fight. Nice work, boys. And whilst we're talking boxing, here's a face that ought to be familiar. Tommy Farr, the Welshman who put British boxing right at the top when he made Joe Lewis's crown wobble. Tommy is training for his comeback fight with Jan Klein of Holland at Pontypridd on Wednesday the 27th. Finest British fighter of his time, if Tommy's back in the old form, Wales may soon have another crack at the title.